Nigel, game of first, Zach Viner's first goal of the season and his Mehmeti's first goal for the club. And after the first half, did you think that win was coming? Well, we needed to sort ourselves out. We were awful in the first 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, <laughs> decision making and quality on the ball, we were, we, you know, we struggled to, to get any rhythm. They started well. It was clear what their tactics were in terms of trying to switch play and stretches uh, across the pitch. We were a bit out of sorts, if I'm honest. Um, but we still had the best chances of the first half, in all honesty. So it was a game which we certainly needed to improve to get anything out of. But I thought in the second half we were, we were uh, the dominant side. Um, obviously scored the two goals, but still created some really good opportunities. First half, we, we had two great chances and you know Sam Bell, who I thought was outstanding in the first half in particular, uh, yeah, created some other situations that we could have done better with too. How pleased were you to come back into a game where really kind of you were struggling in that first half? Well, yes, that's that's something to to uh, reflect on and say. Well, we haven't probably done that enough, and uh, so we either play well and and do okay results-wise, or if we're out of sorts, we we we've not really found the ability to to change our own fortunes. We did today. And we did it because the players stuck at their tasks, even the players who were out of sorts, and we had one or two, uh, in all honesty. Uh, but they simplified their own games and probably learnt a couple of lessons themselves. So, you know, all these things together are, are Im important things. Um, the, most, the most critical thing today is we go beyond 50 points, we go, uh, we go above Stoke, so that's progress for us too. And I think our fans had a really good day out. So in, in a bit of sunshine for once, um, I think they enjoyed uh, seeing their team um, play with a bit of spirit. And uh, yeah, uh, it, it's a good day to win in yellow. How pleased are you for Zach? Obviously, we, it's well chronicled in the summer. It was yeah. a struggle, but he really has cemented his place and to get that goal today. He's been excellent this year, and I think one of the, the one of the things that really stands out for me is how he's um, he's improved as a leader too. I mean, he's a, he's been a very important player for us this year. He's been consistently good. Um, yeah, he's a, he's he's come on so much, and he takes the credit for that. You know, that's not a it's not something that we talk about in terms of the coaching side of it. It's more. He's really shown a lot of uh, desire and um, yeah, courage to really stick out what was a difficult situation. And, and uh, he's been outstanding this season. I know Anis has only been here a while, but yeah. he has been frustrated not scoring that goal. Yeah. But he got it today. How much will that do for him, do you think? I think it'll settle him down quite a bit because he's been frustrated. Um, he's very hard on himself. So I think. Taking part off the bench today was was uh, an important factor because you know the 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 pressure wasn't on him from the start and he came on a, he came on at a time in the game where we were yeah we were looking threatening and uh, it was a the type of chance that you want I think when you're looking to 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 get off the mark so uh, but he still put it away nicely and. Uh, Hopefully now he can just uh, enjoy his football between now and the end of the season. That's what I want all our players to do, is to, to enjoy the challenge of the final games, uh, but make sure our standards are high. Because it, it, it's not just about going out there and uh, playing tippy-tappy stuff. I want us to go and, and use what we have, and that is we've got a lot of pace within the side. and we've, We have a hard-working group of players who have a good collective uh, team ethic which is what we need to improve. You had to make a change early on with yeah. Omar coming off yeah. how is Omar, is it serious do we know? Um, it's a stiff calf but we don't know, it, as soon as it, he felt it we, we just wanted to get him off to protect him well Andy King showed his experience today 
um, and, and we, were, we were glad that we got somebody of his qualities to, to go on there. Uh, yeah, we, we, we've had a few things to, to, to deal with this today. Tommy was always going to come off at half-time, but got a knock uh, about 10 minutes before the end of the first half, so I think he'll be OK for, 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 the, for the next game. And from one informed team to another, Middlesbrough on Monday, yeah. um, the fact that you've come here against a, a team which is playing really yeah. well, does that give you a lot of heart for when they come to Ashton Gate on Monday? We'll always need to be at our best. They, they are a good side and they, they've got quite a bit of momentum, which is something that's really hard to quantify. Um, but if we play with the intensity that we can, and you know our forwards were, I thought, were really good today um, in not just individual work rate, but how we press together and how we were always having somebody available to go in behind. I mean, you know, Naki was really disappointed with his chance, but as I've said to him, yeah, but you'll get, you'll get more chances like that because if you keep making those runs, he'll get there. And, uh, you know, there aren't many people I'd want to, to have those chances more than him. So, um, yeah, on another day he, he, he gets his goal, but uh, hopefully that'll be against Borough. Well done today. Okay, cheers, thanks.